guys, I filmed another tutorial for you guys today. It's like a rose gold eye look. And I showed you guys a couple different lip colors that you could do with this look. If you guys want to see how I get this look, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, I'm first going to take the product Tarte. This is the Tarte Reinforce of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. I'm just going to spray this all over my face. I'm almost out of this. It makes me so sad. I put this on my face every time before I do my makeup just because I don't have a face primer and I feel like I should like moisturize my face and it just like wakes up my face. And then for like the actual moisturizer, I take the Tarte Drink of H2O Moisturizer and I put this on my cheeks and my forehead and my chin and I just So I went and I put on some green color corrector because I have like really bad redness right there. Zits. Um, I'm all out of foundation, but I have a really full coverage concealer and powder. What I love about this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is that when you run out of foundation and you only have concealer and powder left, this is really great because it literally covers up everything, all of your rednesses, and you just look flawless. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. And where I place my concealer is I draw like these lines down my forehead, and then I do the same thing on my chin. And then I do upside down triangles under my eyes. And I blend that all out with a damp bead blender. Damp bead blenders just work good for me when I'm working with concealers. But when I work with foundations, I like to use brushes. So this is just the concealer on my face, the concealer and the green color correctors. So it was really full coverage. Now to set everything, all of that, because we don't want it to go anywhere, we are going to take some Sephora powder in color 15 with my Morphe ES6 brush. I love this brush for powder. I'm just putting this powder everywhere, even my neck and my eyes, because we could put some concealer on there too. Then for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to take the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is a 24-hour anti-crease eyeshadow primer. I'm going to just take my finger and put this all over them eyelids. Yes. Okay, and now time for the eyes. For today's eye look, we're going to be doing like a rose gold eye look. And for the palette, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow palette. I love, love, love this eyeshadow palette. I haven't used it in a while, but it's a great eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take this color right here called Limit in my Morphe R37 brush, and I'm going to put this in my crease. Okay, so it should look something like this, just something like pinky-ish, and now to like darken it up on like that outer corner. With the same palette, I'm going to take the color right here called Nooner with my same R37 brush, and I'm just going to darken up the outer corner of her eyes. Okay, and after you start darkening it up, it should look something like this. Um, with the same eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take this color right here called Strange. Yeah, strange. And I'm taking my Wet n Wild Concealer Brush. And I'm going to put this color on my brow bone. And I'm also going to put it right here, like on more of the inner corner of our eyes. And then for our eyelids, I'm going to be taking the Kylie Cosmetics. This is her birthday, limited edition birthday collection. It's the color Rose Gold. It's her cream eyeshadow. I love this stuff. It's really pigmented. I'm going to take my finger just because I think it applies a little bit better when I use my finger instead of a brush. That's just my opinion. And I'm going to put it all over my eyelids. Oh my gosh, look at that. And so this is with the Kylie Cream Shadow on. And then to blend that out just a little bit better, I'm going to take the same Naked 3 palette in the color right here, Limit. My R37 brush. I love this brush. It's a really good blending brush. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm blending out this eyeshadow and just all looks like together, not like one color, one color, and then one color. It's just all nice and blended out. And then for the lower lash line, we're going to take the same two matte colors that we did on our creases. We're going to take Limits and Nooner both. And we're going to put this on our lower lash line. First taking Limit, and I'm putting this from here to the middle. And then I'm going to take Nooner and do it the same way. Just to darken it up, just like we darkened up our eyes. So I just went and I put on some wing liner. I 
use the Too Faced sketch marker in the color black. I really like this liquid liner. But now it's time for mascara. I'm gonna take the Lancome. This is their eyelash primer. I can't do my mascara without this. I love it so much. And now for mascara. I've been obsessed with this mascara from Urban Decay. This is the Perversion mascara. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know. And I'm just gonna put this all over the top of my lashes. It makes them so long. I'm obsessed okay, with it. Okay, so I went and I put on some bottom mascara. I used the Too Faced Size Queen mascara. Now I'm gonna go and apply some bronzer. I usually never do bronzer on a daily basis. Um, just because I'm not very good at applying it. But there is this one hack that I've learned to do. So I thought I would share it. So three things for this hack. The first thing that you need is, of course, you need bronzer or contour. And then any brush. You can have like a more smaller brush. Like a more like defined brush. This is R14 by Morphe. Or you can have more like a fatter blending brush. This is the R10 brush. Either or works. And then for the third product that you need to do this hack. Is I like to take this. This is just like any paper or cardboard. Okay, so the products that I'm going to be using is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And this Morphe R14 brush. And I'm going to take like this. I don't know really how to describe it. But it's just like cardboard. Like any old sheet. And I'm going to take it from the point of my ear to like my smile line and I'm going to create like this line right here and then I'm going to start blending it so this is what it should look like not after you're done blending we still have to blend but you just don't want to put the cardboard too high or too low so that's why you go from like the point of your ear to here and then you draw that line right there and then you start to blend it out and then it will start like defining your cheekbones. Okay, and this is the final like results after we blended out all of the bronzer. I think it looks nice. It just gave like a nice like warmth to the cheeks. So now it's time to move on to some highlighter. Okay and if you guys are wondering why we are going to apply our highlighter before our blush. I have always done blush then highlighter and then I watched a couple of videos and people were always saying how if you apply the highlighter first before you do your blush then the highlighter will just stand out a lot more. So I've been trying it that way, I decided to try it that way and it does work better for me. So that's why I'm going to do our highlighter. So the only highlighter palette or highlighter that I will be using is from the Anastasia Rarely Little Sweets Glow Kit. I love this kit. Uh, the first color that we're going to take is Marshmallow with my Morphe M310 brush. Oh, yes. Okay, and then for the second highlighter, we're going to take Butterscotch, which is from the same glow kit. And this is also another reason, in my opinion, why I do the blush after I do bronzer and highlighter is because if I don't really know where I should put the blush at because I don't want it too much high and I don't want it too low, then you'll know because it's like, oh, my bronzer's here and my highlighter's here. Okay, now I'm going to go right there in the center and that is what we So, are. the blush that we're using is the Too Faced Pop Don't Peach. This is their blush. It looks just like this. And I'm taking the Morphe E4 brush and I'm just going to put that right here and I'm going to put some on just a little bit on our forehead just to weaken the forehead as well so there is two different lip colors that you guys can do with this look there's probably a million different lip colors that you guys can do with this look but the first lip color that you guys can do is this Maybelline lipstick and this Urban Decay lip liner in Walk of Shame this is just like a great nude lip combo and I'm just going to be aligning my lips like this and then the lipstick to go over the lip liner is this Maybelline lipstick in blushing beige also number 915 so this is the first lip color that would definitely go with this look I feel like any lip color would go with this look but if you guys are just more focused on the eyes then you definitely can do this beautiful nude lip right here and then for the second option and then for the second color this is more of like a bold color but you guys can take Jeffree Star liquid lip in color watermelon soda oh my god it smells so good this is from his summer collection I still have it so good this is just like a nice bright pinky red. 
And this is option two if you guys just want like a nice bold lip color. I think this definitely goes with the look as well. I personally like either or lip colors because some days I'm like, okay, I just want to be focused on the eyes because I did wing eyeliner and I did some bronzer. But then some days I'm just like, whatever, YOLO, I'm going to do a bright lip color, bronzer, wing liner, and everything else. So yeah, either look like Okay guys, this is the finished look. I think any lip color would go with this all the way from the nudes to the bolts. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any more suggestions on videos that you would like to see, let me know down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!